As the 2023 general elections approach, a civil society anti-corruption group has taxed candidates for the Lagos State House of Assembly election on the manifesto geared towards fighting corruption. This was highlighted in Lagos on Wednesday during the town hall meeting for the assembly candidates. Media officer of the Human Rights Advancement, Development and Advocacy Center, Horidak Nelson Ekujimi, said a town hall meeting was designed to interface with the House of Assembly candidates, with stakeholders and their constituents on their anti-corruption plan if they eventually get elected. He stated that the town hall meeting provided an avenue to awaken the consciousness of both candidates and electorate on the urgent need for accountability and transparency. Candidates from the various political parties presented the anti-corruption manifestos as a sign of commitment to fighting what is regarded a menace in Nigeria. Whoever gets elected we we'll go back to their constituents because we have we have an interface with their constituency. So we we'll go back to their constituent and say the promises your candidate the candidate made at our tower meeting. How has he been able to live up to that expectation? Such that in, in the nearest future we are going to hold another tower meeting and invite the candidate as well as the constituents and let them, you know, let them ask questions how far he has been able to fulfill those promises he made with regards to his anti-corruption plans to his constituents. It really isn't just a day's program to prove that we have had an anti-corruption agenda. What it is is that we'll be able to follow their promises. We'll be able to record that while they were elected, they said so, so, and so. Now, while they are actually officials, if they get elected, we'll be able to know that you said this. How have you ever changed? How have you achieved it? What has changed since the moment you mentioned it? What effect does it have on your local government, your constituency? Your See, we are Africans. We cannot take away from the fact that everything, good thing, starts from our home. The parents is the, the first teachers. So if you have the, the, imbibe the good culture of you don't steal, don't do this in your children, they will take it to the center wall. They will replicate it. When they replicate it with the good laws of the land, that is the, uh, the assistant, uh, 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 assistant law, you see that the society, people that respect the law, are the people that have good home training right from. So that is why we need to change our mentality and our orientation in giving good parenting to our children so that they will, uh, uh, they, they will support and cooperate with the extant law of the land. Um, we, uh, we keep mentioning anti-corruption, but we also know that anti-corruption starts from the, from the constituents, you know. So while the person, the, the, the political office holder is accountable, the people also have to be accountable as well. So we all have to work together to ensure that anti-corruption -cor um, is brought down to its barest minimum. So that's one of the things, uh, one of the major reasons why I'm aspiring to go into office and that's one of the reasons why I'm in the race.